the Lord wants to say to you, don't touch me. Let me touch you. You don't have to touch me because it does not increase me nor does it make you better. Allow me to touch you. And in allowing me to touch you, you're going to be changed. And do not be afraid of change because the change that comes from God can only make you better. Simula po ngayong gabi hanggang bukas ay fiesta ng Epiphany. Ang Epiphany po ay pagpapahayag, pagpapakilala. Sapagkat ang pagkakatawang tao ng anak ng Diyos ay hindi maaaring ilihim. Mayroon pong dalawang pagpapakilala. Ang unang pagpapakilala ay doon sa mga Hudyo. There was something religious in their epiphany because it was revealed to them by an angel. E paano naman po yung hindi Hudyo? Paano naman po yung hindi kasama sa lahing pinili? Paano makikilala nila na mahal sila ng Diyos? Hindi po nagpakita sa kanilang anghel. Ano ang ginamit ng Diyos para magpakilala? Yung mga bituin, yung mga planeta, yung pagsikat ng araw, yung pagsikat at paglubog ng buwan, yung ihip ng hangin, yung ulan, yung lagaslas ng tubig, yung tinig ng dagat na nagsasabing mahal tayo ng Diyos. Ginamit ng Diyos ang tinig ng kalikasan para sa mga pantas. The wise men did not see an angel. The wise men only saw nature. They were philosophers. They were wise men. They knew science. They knew the arts. And from their human knowledge, they knew that something extraordinary was happening. Merong nagpakita, merong ipinakita sa pamamagitan ng anghel, merong ipinapakita sa pamamagitan ng kalikasan. Pero hindi lahat ng pinagpapakitaan ay pareho ang sagot. Hindi lahat. Bakit po? Tingnan natin yung mga pantas. They saw a star. And when they saw a star, they saw a happy star. Herod, he also saw the same star. But he saw a fearsome omen. Nakakita ng blessing yung pantas. Ang nakita ni Herod ay banta. Malas para sa kanya. Parehong bituin naman yung nakita nila. The wise men heard from the researches. The wise men heard from the readings that this is good news. Kaya iniwanan nila ang kanilang sariling bayan para hanapin yung nabasa nila sa mga hula ng mga nakaraang dantaon. When they heard something, they knew it was good. Herod also heard the same. But he did not say it was good. It was bad news. It was a threat. Matapit ng matapos yung pagkahari ko dahil sa batang ito. The wise men tasted sweetness. Herod tasted bitterness. The wise men and Herod both saw the manifestation of God. But they responded differently. Pareho ang nakita, pareho ang naamoy, pareho ang narinig, pareho ang nalasahan. Subalit, magkaiba ang kanilang reaksyon. Magkaliba ang kanilang sagot. Yung isa ay natuwa, yung isa ay natakot. Yung isa ay sumamba, yung isa ay pinahanap para patayin. 
At pagkatapos ng Ibanghelyo, ang sabi po ay, The wise men went away. They disappeared. They became anonymous. They were wise men when they worshiped the Lord. But after worshiping the Lord, they chose to be unknown. Merong mga legend kung saan sila pumunta. Merong pang ibang legend na binigyan sila ng pangalan. Pero para sa mga pantas, hindi na ho mahalaga yun. Kasi pantas kami na humanap nang makita namin ang Panginoon, nakita namin wala palang kwenta yung karunungan na aming pinag pinanghahawakan. And so, they laid their gifts before the Lord and disappeared because they had already laid their human wisdom before the feet of the Lord and there was nothing more to ask. But Herod, Herod continues to be named until now because he wanted the baby killed and he wanted the baby to be killed so that he killed all the other babies. Parehong pagpapakilala, pero magkaiba. Pero apat na senses pa lang po ang aking nasabi. Mata, pangamoy, pandinig, panlasa. Mayroon pa hong panglima. The sense of touch. The sense of touch. But this time, the Messiah told the wise men, Will you allow me to touch you? You don't have to touch me. But let me touch you. Because when I touch you, you will be changed. You remember King Midas? Everything he touched turned into gold. Now remember the Lord. Everything He touched became holy. If we allow the Lord to touch us, He is going to change our sins into virtues. If you allow the Lord to touch you, He is going to change the ugliness of your memory into a beautiful future. If you allow the Lord to touch you, He is going to change you from being a wretched sinner to a beautiful saint. Herod, Herod needed to be touched too. He saw, he smelled, he tasted, he heard, but he did not like to be touched by the Lord because he knew that being touched by the Lord would change him and he was not ready to be changed. Today, the image of the Black Nazarene visits Pangasinan. After a few hours, the image goes to Nueva Ecija. We cannot go to Quiapo, so he comes to us. I hope you realize that. We cannot go to Him, but He cannot wait for us to go to Him. That is why He has come to us. If you are still doubting how important you are, the visit of the Nazareno assures you, you are so important. I cannot remain where I am. I will go where you are because you are unable to visit me. And then, this afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, like Herod, like the wise men, the Lord wants to say to you, Don't touch me. Let me touch you. You don't have to touch me because it does not increase me, nor does it make you better. Allow me to touch you. And in allowing me to touch you, you're going to be changed. And do not be afraid of change, because the change that comes from God can only make you better. Sometimes, changes make us worse. Sometimes, 
changes make us sick. Sometimes changes hurt us. Always changes trouble us. But the trouble of change that comes from the Lord will always be for our good. Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, touch us. Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, touch us. Because we know that when you touch us, we will not be the same anymore. Your touch will change us. And the change from you will always make us better. Let us bow down our heads. Let us imagine the Nazareno right before us, right in front of us. Let us now give him permission. Jesus, the black Nazarene, touch me. Change me now, even if I am not ready. Change me now, even if I am afraid of change. Touch me and change me, because your touch and your change is all that I need to be happy and to be at peace again. <laughs> 